That's fine. Let's get started then. Thanks everybody for coming this afternoon. Uh, Wednesday, September 7th, License Com Commission virtual meeting. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev, Commissioners Helen Kahn and Jennifer Ewers. As a reminder, this meeting is being Zoom recorded. And is there anybody here for public comment? Don't see anybody. We'll move on, but go back to that if uh, that's why James is here. Item number three, applications for the short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music Theater at 274 Main Street. These are wine and malt licenses and the theater requests a fee waiver. The performances are September 11th, 2022, 7 to 11 for Melody Gardot. September 14th, 2022, 5 to 8 p.m. for the Chamber of Commerce arrive at five. September 15th, 2022, 7 to 11 for Lewis Black off the rails. September 18th, 2022, 7 to 11 for They Might Be Giants. September 24th, 4.30 to 11 p.m. King of Comedy, Bob Marley. September 30th, 7 to 11, Almost Queen. October 9th, 7 to 11, Billy Bragg. October 16th, 7 to 11, Fortune Feimster. October 21st, 7 to 11, Jonathan Richman. And November 19th, 7 to 11, Josh Ritter. Wow, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Stick around for Arts Night Out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'll be a long read. <laughs> yeah. How are you, Melissa? I'm good, how are you? Great. Are there any changes to how you guys are doing things? Nope, no change. No. Do either of the, any commissioners have any questions? No, then I will make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor licenses and the fee waiver as outlined in agenda item three. I'll second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, bye. Thanks. All right, application or item number four, application for short-term liquor license for Cooper's Dairyland of Northampton Incorporated, DBA Cooper's Corner, Saturday, September 24th, 2022 from two to 9 p.m. And this is for a wine and malt license for Florence Night Out. What the hell? Oh my God. No Annie, way. can you? Thank you. I'm Rich Cooper, in spite of it saying that I'm Catherine K. I'm not. Um, so I'm the owner of Cooper's Corner, and this is Florence Night Out, where I have with me our, our wine manager, Wes DeSantis, but it'll be how we've done in the past. We'll um, block off our parking lot on the Wilder Place side, um, roped off so that only people access to that area will be carted, and there we'll be giving small samples of, of beer and wine. Um, then out on the street, we're going to be having food and that sort of thing, like most other merchants will be. That sounds great. Um, Wes, did you have anything to add? You're just here for moral support. <laughs> You're muted, Wes. Sorry about that. That's okay. uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we weren't sure that both of us were going to be able to make it, but uh, it, it, it's really uh, just an extension what of the taste. Oh, oh my God, no way. Sorry uh, about that, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really just an extension of like our Friday night tastings. We'll, we'll handle it the same way. Like Rich said, uh, we are going to have it roped off and we will be carting people and we won't be letting people wander back into the streets with samples. Sure. Wonderful. Uh, do the commissioners have any questions? No, I don't. That was pretty straightforward. Yep. No, and I'm glad it's happening it. again. For instance. Yeah, no, it's exciting. Yeah. And I'm looking I wish forward I to it. <laughs> All right, then I will make a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor license as outlined in agenda item number four. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. 
Great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We'll see Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Kill yourself, niggers. Kill all black people. They belong to hell. Fuck, fuck. Danny, is there a way to block that number it's from continuing? Like three different people. Yeah. Thank Are you for dealing with that. I'm sorry you're having to. I like, I'm trying to block the, and there's like a, a bunch of people in the waiting room too. I... Hmm. Okay, it's okay. I'm we'll just gonna, I, I don't think I'm going to, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we'll just keep, we'll just keep doing our best. Thank you. All right, um, item number five, application for outdoor dining extensions into public spaces. This is for Cafe Balagon LLC at 241 Main Street. And this is for four tables and eight chairs on the sidewalk in front of the establishment. And we have somebody here from the cafe. Yes, this time we're here. Sorry about last week. That's okay. We're glad you're here this week. Yes. Excellent. Um, to, do you want to let us know a little bit about how you're going to have your setup for beverages outdoors? Yeah, so basically we set up, it's already been there, like the chairs and table for people to drink coffee during the day. Uh, since we opened the lounge in the evening time, uh, we did order some barriers to kind of separate it from the uh, people who walk on the sideway. Uh, and people will buy the, the stuff inside and then go sit and we bring it out to them. Obviously, mm -hmm. people are going to get carded at the register when they pay. Okay. To verify Great. the age and everything. Yep. Um, do Helen or Jennifer have any questions? I don't. It looks very clear on the plan. So yeah, you know, your app, everything was very straight. The photo was helpful. Yeah. Jennifer, do you have anything? No, no? questions. Thank okay. you. Do you have anything else for us? No. No. Okay. It's, just, it's, it's good to see familiar the familiar faces. Yes. Um, okay, then I will make a motion to move to approve of the extension of premises for Cafe Balagon LLC, as shown on plan on file with the license commission, to include approximately four tables and eight chairs in front of the cafe, to be cordoned off with stanchions to include the sidewalk in between, limited only to the transportation of alcoholic beverages through November fifteenth. 2022 from 12 to 11 p.m. All second. Great. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Have a good evening. You too. Item number six, applications for outdoor dining extensions into public spaces. Uh, this was for the Brewster Court Pub, DBA Northampton Brewery was looking to do some outdoor table seating, but they have requested the item be removed from the agenda and they'll resubmit in the spring. Moving on to number seven, application for a short-term liquor license for the Downtown Northampton Association for Arts Night Out for the following dates, following Fridays, excuse me, from 5 to 8 p.m. September 9th, October 14th, November 11th, December 9th, January 13th, February 10th, March 10th, April 14th, May 12th, June 9th, July 14th, August 11th, September 8th, 2020. I'm sorry, we're into 2023 now as of March. Um, October 13th, November 10th, December 8th, and this is for wine and malt. And the applications are for the following locations, the APE Limited Gallery, Bansies, LLC, DBA, Bang Bang Body Arts, uh, this Anchor House of Artists, the Joe Smith Studio Gallery, Spill the Tea Sis Apothecary, Marsam LLC, DBA, R Michelson Galleries, Lulu Blue Incorporated, DBA Pinch, Trustees of Forbes Library, DBA Forbes Library, Click Workspace Incorporated, Northampton Center for the Arts, Historic Northampton, Coldwell Banker Community Realtors, NE LLC, DBA Phoenix Rising. Sorry. That's okay. Don't be <laughs> sorry. This is great. This is awesome. I love that this is all back and happening. Um, since it's been a while for some Arts Night Out stuff, do you just want to update us on what you've got going on? 
Uh, sure. So the the Arts Night Out short term liquor licenses that we're looking to do are the same that we've done in the past. Just obviously during COVID, everybody stopped gathering inside in small spaces to share food and drink. Um, but now that those um, gatherings are sort of resuming, we wanted to officially come get everybody a slate of licenses as opposed to just doing one offs um, as they pop up. Um, this will include the Arts Night Out. Um, like chalk, uh, chalk art, ice art, um, this, those special arts night out, as well as just the regular monthly arts night out. And these are usually just very small wine and cheese, um, you know, inside the various venues who apply. Nothing, not a kegger, nothing crazy, no. just. Um, <laughs> it's pretty low key. A little low key um, and wine typically. Okay. Does anyone have some questions, comments? It's great to see it all happening again and that you have it all set through the end of next year. It's, it's yeah. so I, it, as much as I enjoy coming to these meetings, I figured if you could see me maybe a few less times, that right. would be appreciated. So. Right. But it's nice to see such a full schedule as well. Very it's exciting. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, this does feel normal, doesn't it? Planning ahead and know, looking no. forward to things. Yeah, exactly. We're getting there normal and like how did we used to do this it took me a second to like remember how to <laughs> yeah, write the letter yeah, shake the dust off yep yep <laughs> um well i don't have any other questions and we won't keep you because you kind of have a big deal going on this weekend so uh, nothing much nothing <laughs> much. um i will make a motion then to approve the application for short-term liquor licenses as outlined in agenda item number seven i will second wonderful <laughs> and the uh natasha Yes. Helen? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Raha. Thank Super. you all. Thanks, Amy. See you this weekend. Thank Appreciate you, Amy. It. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Item number eight. Is O'Brien here? He's not here. Um, there are two people in the waiting room, however, and they are not names I've ever heard before, and they're uh, dare I say suspicious names so okay. I, I we'll just go on to the next item and okay. and circle back if O'Brien shows up but they're probably neither I don't think they're O'Brien okay yeah well actually we can um this is the standard stuff for Bombic so we can approve it without him here yeah if he doesn't show up yeah we might yeah. have to do that I just okay we'll put that to the end that brings us to item number nine, request by Blue Paws Inc, DBA JJ's Tavern, 99 Main Street in Florence to amend an entertainment license for the purposes of Oktoberfest on Saturday, October 1st, 2022. The request is for a live band from 2 to 6 p.m. on Saturday, October 1st for the Oktoberfest celebration. With this performance, Blue Paws Incorporated, Incorporated will not have music on Friday, September 30th to keep within the license limits. This will also be the last outdoor event of the season, coinciding with the May 1st to October 1st allowance. Hey, John. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Good. So this is um, this is just for your Oktoberfest. Yep. Standard great. event um, that we always do every year. Just I'm just not going to, I just want to specify that I wasn't going to have anything Friday. To, okay. But just basically altering the time to keep it one day, just changing the time for that day and and that's, That's great. Yep. No problems here. Do the other commissioners have any questions about no questions. anything? Okay. Then I will move to approve the request by Blue Paws to amend the license for the Saturday, October 1st, October. October yeah. Does it roll off the tongue, but it looks good on paper. It does. <laughs> <laughs> From 2 to 6 p.m. on Saturday. I will second. Yay. Thank you. All right. Thank uh, you. Oh. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Great. Okay. Thank, Thank you, John. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, no sign of O'Brien. I'm going to jump to the new business so we can take care of the Northampton Center for the Arts, and then we'll get the rest done. Um, application for short-term liquor license for Northampton Center of the Arts Incorporated, 33 Holly Street, September 30th, 8 to 12 a.m. This is for a benefit for the community fund. Is the type is all alcohol and they request a fee waiver. Hi, Joanna. Hi. How are you? I'm good. 8 to 12 p.m. though. 8 to 12, 8 p.m. to 12 
a.m. Till midnight. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Um, you want to let us know about this event? Sure. It's um indoors in the flex space. Mm -hmm. The bar will be out at the box office area. Um, we have liquor left over from when we had we had a big a big fundraiser in April, and so we have stuff left over that we want to use up and one of our board members is a dj so he offered to throw a, a dj dance party in the flex that evening and we're having tickets on a sliding scale and selling um alcohol 21 and up mm -hmm. um what else do you want to know do you like mark a hand or give a bracelet? How do you, diff like when somebody's shown their ID, how do you guys? Wristbands. Okay, perfect. Great. Yeah. Are there questions from Jennifer or Helen? No. No. You're just not inquisitive today, I guess. It's just. <laughs> Everything's pretty awesome. Y'all should come to the party <laughs> though. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Um, then I will make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license for the Northampton Center of the Arts as outlined in agenda item number 11. I'll second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's jump back to... Item number eight. So there's there's one now there's one person in there and they've consistently been in there. So okay. I mean <laughs> I let them in and if they're if they shouldn't be here, we'll know very quickly. Yeah. The anticipation's killing me. Mm -hmm. All right. The line where the sky meets the sea. Okay. Hey. Hey. No one knows. <laughs> Sorry, it goes. Not fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't. I don't know why it takes. I can't block it. <laughs> so. Bizarre. Yeah. Sorry, you have to deal with that. Yeah. The did you and you hear them? Mm -hmm. Did you just hear what they said? They said they can't block it. Oh. oh. That was so frustrating. There were so many of them, and they and it's that's it. They Zoom does not make it easy to report. Oh. You have to put in your email address. You have to select a reason. It. Yeah. It's okay. It's so bizarre that it's happening all of a sudden. We've yeah, got two years, sure. over two years. Yeah. And then just to like, just to hear that guy say they can't block it and laugh. Like, it's just like not funny. Like we're just trying. Right. Right. Uh, well, let's wrap up our volunteer yeah. duties. Then. There's someone People else in there too, but I'm just not I know it's not them yeah, yeah definitely have too much time on their hands these people God. <laughs> so let's jump then to agenda item number eight the applications for short-term liquor licenses for building eight brewing 320 riverside drive this is for wine and malt on september 24th 6 30 to 9 40 specific time for the florence night out after party at bombix at 130 pine street in florence October 1st, 12 to 9 for the Oktoberfest celebration at 320 Riverside Drive. And for October 2nd from 6 to 11 p.m. for uh, a performance at Bombix at 130 Pine Street in Florence. Um, the Bombix performances are super straightforward. Um, and for the record, for the Oktoberfest celebration on October 1st at the brewery, O'Brien's had this every year. Um, for quite some time, and he holds a couple of other events at the brewery every year. We've never had any problems with how he runs his events. He puts a big focus on making sure that he's offering food as well as um, his beer offering. So for those reasons, I don't have any problem approving this application without him present. I agree. I have no issues. We've, I mean, we've never had any issues with him. So yeah, yeah I think it's safe to go ahead and approve it. Okay. 
Great, then I'll make a motion to approve the applications for the short-term liquor licenses as outlined in agenda item number eight. A second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Super, approval of minutes, August 3rd, 2022. Do I make a motion to approve those minutes? I'll second. Did you say, do you want to make a motion yeah. or you were making a motion? Oh, sure. I'll make a motion to approve okay. <laughs> the minutes of August 3rd, 2022, which those I read. Excellent. I <laughs> right. I'll second. And I will. Oh, oh sorry, Jennifer. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. It's going to be okay. all yours on the next one since I. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Natasha seconded. Yes. And so Natasha. Yes. Helen. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. In the minute. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was just going to say the August 31st, just since I sent it only a half hour ago, I wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to read the amended version that I sent. Yes. Um, okay. And yeah. Helen, yes. Okay. Did you see that, Jennifer? I did. Yes. Oh, okay, super. Thank you for um, doing that. Yep. Then I will make a motion to approve the August 31st, 2022 minutes. I second. Super. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Abstain. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Is there any other new business? I have no new business. Can I ask a question? Um, will we will have it be having to do something with Eric Sewer, correct, because of his penalty, because of the labor, the wages penalty? Won't there be something when licenses come up? For next year don't we have to no because he we already did so oh, from, oh this is from last this year is and from it's finally gone through the settlement okay. they're settling it okay. so he already the commission already pulled him in for a lying on his fair wage compliance certificate and b he needed to get wage bonds for i think it was iron horse and Pearl Street, I think, um, because of the attorney general's um, citations. And he's in year two of the wage bond? Year two. So next year, during he'll have to provide another wage bond um, for those licenses. But also, I mentioned to attorney Seawald last week or the week before that he needs to, we need to start thinking about Eric's licenses because not I don't think one of his establishments are open and the licenses are not being used. Um, I know the green room is open. Okay, I didn't everybody just leave there? That's oh, that, so it's been open, but there I read that it was closing, but it wasn't clear if it was closing or if the team that works there were all leaving. Yeah, so, but, I mean, yes, that's fine, but like Pearl Street. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Iron Wars, yep. um, the basement, Center Street Cafe, like those, they're just not open. Yep. Shuttered. So I told him that he needs to start thinking about it because it, it needs, we need to do something. Yep. Yeah. And was there um, any guidance for a path forward, or is? No, I just I just basically put it on his radar, and he said, "Okay, to think about it because it needs we need to be need to be careful about how okay. we, about how we move forward." Sure. So it might be helpful to do like a sort of an assessment for us, so all of like all of the businesses are on one page, what the hours are supposed to be. Um, and con confirming that nothing, I mean, the Calvin has had some shows, but they're so infrequent mm -hmm. that there, I know in the past, we've talked about that. If an establishment isn't open mm -hmm. or the hours that are listed on its licenses, are they in violation of their license? So the, with the limited number of performances happening at the Calvin, is that in line with the license he has, or is that not in line with the license he has? The other establishments are, you know, Pearl Street, Iron Horse basement I haven't heard of anything happening there yeah no there's nothing so yep yep 
And Annie, when you say um, on attorney Seawald's radar, you're thinking um, action might be taken for one one. You're thinking for the new year. Is that? Um, I, did, I uh, There's really not really a time frame. I just the last time I saw him, I said like we need to start thinking about Eric's licenses because none of them are really in use. And he just said, okay, like well, let me start thinking about it um, because there is a tendency um, for, or there is precedent of the commission or the city being sued whenever uh, the commission tries to either hold a hearing or try to revoke licenses that, that are held by Eric. So it, it needs, we need, just need to be strategic about how we move forward. Okay, Make sure thank we you have for that license. clarification. Yeah, make sure we have all of our information and all our ducks in a row. I know you weren't on the, um, you weren't the clerk when this last happened. And I don't even remember if, I think it might have been before I was on the commission, but when he had the license for the Baptist church. And did that get moved to another one of his establishments? I can, I can find out. I think it did. I think it went to. You know what? It or it was revoked. One of right. his licenses was revoked, and I think it went to Bistro Lagra. Okay. Um, and when a city revokes a license, well, the commission would revoke it. Well, when the commission revokes a license, and it wasn't a lottery license to begin with, does the city then lose that license? back to the state? No. Okay. No. The commission would, would issue it somewhere else. Even if they weren't lottery licenses and he had purchased them? Um, I believe so. Okay. I mean, there's no such thing as like a lottery license. Or a special. The special, special license, we just have typically used the a lottery right to as issue a measure them. of reissuing okay um yeah i can i will i mean these are all things i will confirm with yeah well. yeah i think and since with all new commissioner members since the last time he was um called in for non-use of a license it might be helpful to just have an outline of the history of what occurred when that when he was brought in for that. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, does anybody have anything else? 